Hey Piper. Okay, we're going to I'm going to go over I want to show you a couple things on this test. Um I figured this is an easier way to to practice this. So, um I want you to notice something and I'm going to send all this to you. But this is your test. And if you go look at the practice test that she showed that she gave you on Schoology, these tests are almost basically identical. Okay, they're different numbers, but as far as what you need to know, the types of problems, they are identical. Okay, this is the test that I suggested you do and you didn't do it. Okay, you did the practice that she gave you in class. This is extra stuff she's posted. And this is, if you had done this and done well, I think you would have done much better on this test. So we're going to use this practice test as your practice to get ready for this re-exam. I'm also going to be sending you this document, which is a bunch of practice. Okay, and you're going to be working on this over the next couple of days. So I'm going to go through some of this with you, but this is what we're going to use to help get you ready. So let's first look back at your test. I want to go over, you made a lot of really silly mistakes, okay, and things that I know that you know better. So I just want to point out some of these and then we'll do some practice examples. But okay, look right here. You have combining like terms, 3x squared, you circled everything right. Okay, this is addition. 3x squared plus 5x squared is 8x squared. You got 15 by doing multiplying. Okay, at the same time, look at this. You circled negative 5x squared and negative 3x squared. That's perfect. You did the exact same thing. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. How did you get plus 3? Okay, so those are silly mistakes. So this just tells me you're not really thinking through. You're just going through the motions. Look right here, 4x squared. Okay, well, this is a this is a distributive property, okay? You have to do this first, three, negative three times that. So this would be 4x minus 6x plus 12. You have to do negative three times 2x, negative three times negative four. Then you would combine these. That'd be negative 2x plus 12, okay? You have to do the distributive property first. And you know this right here. You know that squared is 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. And then you would do your FOIL, okay? So it'd have to be, or you can do the box me method if that helps you. Okay, if you do the box method, it would be 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5. So that's 4x squared. That's going to be negative 10x, negative 10x plus 25. And so you're going to add those. So it would be 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. That's what that is. And you know how to do that. PEMDAS. Okay, you did good here. But look right here. Negative 100 plus 25. That's, seven, that's negative 75. You don't add, you can't add those to together. And I know you have no calculator in here, but you're allowed to use that little simple calculator. So if you're not using a calculator on this, that's, she said you could use the calculator. You can't use your graphing calculator. Okay. Same thing on here. You've got to do this. You've got to do distributive property. You have to recognize that first. So that would be 10 minus 12 plus 21. Okay, and then you just add those all together. So you're making some, like I said, you're when I'm looking through this test, I'm not saying you get 100%, but you've definitely made um, some some errors. Okay, you know how to add common denominator. Okay, you've got to find a common denominator in this. The common denominator was 15. So you times each of this by three, each of these by five. So that would be six fifteenths plus uh, five fifteenths. So that would be 11 fifteenths. Okay? You should you know how to do these. Um, multiplying fractions. You multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. So that would just be 6 over 35. That's all, that's all you have to do for that. Um, these, when you have, remember, so it's with your dividing fractions, keep, change, flip. So keep the first one. Flip, change the sign to negative and flip the other one over. So that would be times three fourths. So that would be twenty one over twenty. That's how you how you would do that. So you just you just got that flipped around. Um, exponents, okay. Exponents. You remember when it's division, the rule is when you have x over a, that's a minus b. 
Okay, so that this would be two minus three, which would be that, but she wants it in the form of that. So that's a one over that. She doesn't want the negatives. Um, and this would be this, if you got that one right. Okay, and this one, you've got to multiply, when you're multiplying, you got to multiply this. So that's going to be eight, which you got, but x to the fourth times x to the second is x to the sixth. Okay, you, when you multiply exponents, you add them together. Um, except here, when you square it outside, then you multiply. So that would be 7 squared, and then 2 times 5, which would be multiplied. So that would be x to the 10th. So it's 49x to the 10th. you got to square the number inside, but then you multiply the fractions. And the same thing here, this one here. Okay, 7 over 6 to the negative squared it just means 7 would be 6 over 7, square both numbers, 36 over 49. Okay, so like I said, you some of these you know what to do. You're just, I said, you're making some really silly mistakes. Now, I don't know whether you're just, it's, I don't know if it's the right environment for you or it's just lack of practice. Um, okay, these. These I know you may have may have struggled with, okay? So this one you did right, plug in zero. Okay, this one you did right. Now here, this here. Okay, what this means, okay, and let's go, let's go over to here. When you have this, you gotta start inside here first. So that means you take function h and you plug in negative one. So that's gonna be, so function h is this. So substitute in negative one, negative one minus two. So that's negative three minus two, which is negative five. Okay, now you take this and you come back up and you have to plug it in. So that's g of negative five. So whatever result you get for the inside, you then substitute that in to g for, so x is negative five, so you plug it in right here. So that would be equals two times negative five, which gives you negative 10. That's your answer. So anytime it's inside, you do, you do the whole function, whatever answer you get, you then substitute into the next function. So right here, this would be, you would do substitute in h, one for uh, x in h. And that number you would substitute into x for g, and whatever you get from that, you would substitute in for f. Okay, so in this one, h of one would be three times one minus two, which is one. So then you would do what's g of one? So that would be two times one, which is two. And then you have to do f of two, which would be two squared plus four times two plus one equals four plus eight plus one, which is 13. So your final answer would be 13, okay? Um, okay, s 17 and 18 um, are a little bit tougher. So basically what you're doing here, same thing, is this is g of x, that means g of x is 5x minus 1. You're going to take this and substitute it into h for the x. So h of g of x equals 3 times 5x minus 1. So all I did was use this for my x up here. So then this would just be, remember, do your distributive property. 15x minus 3 plus 4. I can add these two together, so it'd be 15x plus one. That would be your final, your final answer. Okay, so that's in the same way with this one. All you're doing is saying, okay, h of x is 3x plus four. Then so g of h of x is going to be five times 3x plus four minus one. I'm substituting that in for x in g of x, and then just do the math. Okay, uh, 18. Okay, so she's giving you this function. You have this function right here. 
and I'll, remember when you have a fun, this this is my x no sorry this is my x and this is my y so what they're saying i think you got this right so when x is negative three which i'm assuming is right around here okay y is five that's that that you're doing right there so that you got right okay if f of x equals zero that's saying so when y equals zero what is x well, y equals zero is this line right here so what is x equal? You gotta look here, you got negative two, um, well negative four, which is over here, and then two, there's two spots where it equals zero. And the same here, y intercepts is when x equals zero. So you wanna know this, where it intercepts this line, which is right about here, which I guess is, I don't know, I guess seven. So it would just be somewhere around seven or eight. So you just gotta follow that graph. Okay. Um, Let me see, these are all domains. You did well with the calculator. The calculator you did really well, which is what we expect. So you did well with that. Um, here, okay, once again, and she kind of shows you here. All this is saying is F of four minus H of four. So when X is four, so when we go over here to X is four, what is the value of f? f is, that's gonna be negative two. So f of four is negative two. h of four, so when you plug in, go to four, h is gonna be up here, so that's gonna be three. So you want negative two minus three, that gives you negative five. That's all you're doing with this. This is multiplication, you know, you're plugging it in, it's like it's not multiplication when you do that you do the what we did the last page this is your adding and that you're multiplying um so that's what that's all you're doing with these and i'll give you some more examples on this this one you did okay on um you're struggling or domain and range and i'll show you that in the other paper so here's what i'm going to do i want you to go through and do i want you to do the odds on this one so you're going to do one, three, five, seven, nine. You're going to do all of these. I want 10, 11, 12, and 13 on this one. And this page, you're going to do all of these, all of 16. Try doing 17A. And then we just talked about this, so you can do 18. Um, I want you to do 19, but do A, B, and C first. And then, wow, look at the similarity of these questions versus the one that you had. So do all of these. And then on 21, these are the calculator ones. I think we'll skip those for right now. Um, and then I want you to do 25 on here okay so that's what you're going to do on that so make sure you got all those marked down and i want those done today and then on i'm going to give you this page i want you to do let me think here let's see um let's do the odd let's do the even sorry we're going to do the even to start with on this okay now watch when you get over to I'm gonna do number 17 for example so remember this is my function that says when X is 2 so it would be negative 5 times 2 plus 3 negative 10 plus 3 that equals negative 7 that's how you do those and then on this back one okay so function domain and range remember domain is X and range equals y. So what you wanna know in this, what are my possible values of x? So the x is my x-axis. So what, where does it go through? My x goes from negative nine all the way to 10. It stops, because there's open dots. So my, the, the only possible values of x are between those two values. So I think that's because it's open, it would be negative nine to 10. 
Okay, and then my range, you're gonna look and say, okay, where's my lowest value? I can go from here up to here. So my range is gonna be from negative four up to seven, and they're all open dots. Okay, and then these are gonna be, so when you look at fit 25, it's the same way, open and close dots. The only possible range for X's can be from here to here, and Y is from here to here. Now, watch. I don't have any in here. I was going to try to get you one with that goes to infinity. I'll try to find one for that. Um, but I think you can do it on here. Let's see what her problem she gives you. Yeah, so we need to practice that on 25 on that one. Um, combining like terms. I want you to practice doing that. Okay, these should be the easiest problems for you to do. So I want you to practice that. Do Practice doing the distributive property. Practice some of the PEMDAS. Okay, practice evaluating fractions. Okay, so these are all problems that you are on the test and you need extra practice. So I want you to do the evens on this and go back and do the ones I asked you to do on, on, the, on this test. Now note, I said, look at this, how similar this is to the test. It's so amazing. So now we know, if you do these practice tests, that's, what's, that's what she, she's expecting you to know. Okay, so start with this and then we'll talk this evening.